Backstage at the Monterey Jazz Festival, this is Lay Kamen for QRS Radio, Minneapolis, Minnesota, reporting from Monterey, California. John Hendricks, uh, you've been president of what sounds like a legal firm, Lambert, Hendricks, and Ross, and there's no doubt about it that it was one of the, the great vocal uh, laboratories of the world for after it came the Swingle Singers. And nostalgically, what can you say? Well, you said was. I say is. I think you'd better explain a little more about it, John. A good sound never dies. I should say so. And within the firm of uh, Hendrix, Lambert, and Ross, and Hendrix, Lambert, and Bavon, uh, is also embodied the spirit of John Hendrix, who is both poet and musician. And if you, um, you know, you had your choice of instruments, other than the human voice, what would you select? The saxophone, the tenor saxophone. You know, I can remember some correspondence with you concerning... A little gray cloud character from Cloudburst, one of your classics. I think I, ought, I think it's fair to let your listeners know that when I first came to New York City, I didn't know anyone. I'd just come from uh, Toledo, Ohio. Uh, Lake Hammond had a show on 125th Street coming from a restaurant up there, the name of which I forget at the time. But uh, I was told that if I wanted to, to find out anything about the world of jazz, I should get in touch with Lay, which I did. He, in turn, introduced me to Quincy Jones, which practically was the start of my career. So you know more about me than I do. Well, you're being very modest, and thank you very much for uh, some, uh, oh, I don't know, reference to the fact that you and I had some conversations of deep soul-like nature together. Yes, baby. <laughs> John Hendricks, backstage at the Monterey Jazz Festival, Monterey 65, which is a tribute to the trumpet. And what are your impressions, just uh, offhand? Well, the same as, uh, as they were last year and the year before and the year before that. This is the most cultural, artistic, musically excellent festival I've ever had anything to do with. And, and that includes all over the world. John Hendricks, thanks very much for reporting along with us. This is Lake Hammond for KQRS Radio, Minneapolis, Minnesota, in Monterey, California, Monterey by the Pacific. Backstage at the Monterey Jazz Festival in Monterey, California, some 2,000 miles west of Minneapolis, Minnesota, where America's finest, most uh, uh, in-depth cultural event concerning jazz takes place in the fall of the year. It's a beautiful day by the Pacific, and here's a rather uh, soulful gentleman standing beside me who thinks very sensitively about words. I often wondered, John Hendricks, whether you had thought in the creation of your lyrical ideas for the Lambert singers, the Lambert Hendricks and Ross singers, these various groups that you've been concerned with, whether or not you had ever considered taking up the brush and going after a canvas or using watercolors. As a matter of fact, when I was uh, 17 years old, I was... Uh... I was a junior in high school. I won a scholarship to the Art Museum of the University of Toledo, and I studied art, studied painting, uh, for two years. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it takes a lot of your time to paint. And I was so busy singing that I just didn't have the energy to keep it up. But uh, someday when I have a leisure time, I will go back to painting. It seems to me you have uh, these skills which not only are audio, but visual, too. Well, You're I think, a picture uh, thinker. I, I, I think all art is one, that, that if you're an artist, you, that, that you embrace all nature, actually. Thank you, John Hendricks. This is Lay Cameron with John Hendricks of the legendary group of Lambert Hendricks and Ross, of Lambert Hendricks and Bavon, and creative force and modern vocal interpretations of the jazz solos of, oh, uh, so many men of the spectrum and color and ilk of jazz, reporting in from the Monterey Jazz Festival backstage. John Hendricks has been a pioneer in the word and the sound of phonetics as related to jazz. This is Lake Hammond reporting for QRS Radio at the Monterey Jazz Festival. John Hendricks, uh, what are your plans for the future? Originally, you were associated with Lambert Hendricks and Ross, with Dave Lambert, and with Lambert Hendricks and Bavon. And you're noted for so many interesting things, sing a, sing a song of Basie, sing along with Basie, whatever you would uh, care to call this beautiful experiment in phonetics and rhyme and, and uh, semantics, I suppose. Semantics, <laughs> yeah. Have you an interest in semantics? Very much so. Uh, when I was at the University of uh, Toledo, I got straight A's in English all three years. And one of the books that we used as a text was a book by Dr. S. I. Hayakawa, 
who is the foremost semanticist in the United States. And I got the only A in that course in seven years. I'm very interested in semantics. I've since met Dr. Hayakawa since I moved to San Francisco, and we've become very good friends. And this is a little insight into a man who has created so many interesting thoughts and ideas in music today. Um, I, I think uh, of a, a trumpet solo that Chris Griffin uh, made a classic with Benny Goodman that really Basie introduced. And I'm thinking of uh, what? Can you refresh my mind? You did it in Sing Along with Basie. It, Fiesta in blue. in blue. Yes. You wrote a lyric for that that was just magnificent. Well, I usually go, you know, from whatever the song is called, and I, I felt, well, now, Fiesta, that's a, that's a very gay thing. And, you know, that's, where that's, like a, that's like everybody having a ball. But then Fiesta in blue means that everybody that comes to this particular Fiesta is someone who has the blues. And in the words of Duke Ellington... Uh, who is standing right over there. Ah, if you have the blues, you're at the, the short end of a love affair. So that means you people must be unhappy. So at a Fiesta in blue, it must be a group of people who are sad, which means nobody would have more of a ball than they would. <laughs> John Hendricks, thank you very much. From the Monterey Jazz Festival, this is Leigh Kamen reporting that uh, brilliant uh, semanticist of jazz, John Hendricks.